Today we're going to take this photo and apply the Nashville filter. Hello and welcome to an Affinity Revolution tutorial. Today we're going to be learning about the Nashville filter, an effect that Instagram made popular. If you'd like to use the same photo as me, I've included a download link in the video description. To apply this effect, we're going to first draw a rectangle across our picture. So grab your rectangle tool down here and just draw a rectangle going across the entire photo. We're going to change the color of this rectangle from white to dark blue. Then we'll change the blend mode from normal to screen. Changing the blend mode to screen makes it so the blue rectangle is only applied to the highlights in the photo. 100% is pretty strong, so let's lower the opacity to 50%. Now we'll draw out another rectangle, so just come click and drag to make another rectangle. But this rectangle, we're going to make a cream color. And then we'll change the blend mode from normal to multiply. Changing the blend mode to multiply makes it so this rectangle is only applied to the shadows. But again, 100% is a little too strong, so let's lower that to 50%. Finally, we're going to add a curves adjustment. So come down to the adjustments icon and select curves. With the curves adjustment, we're going to bring down the shadows and then bring up the highlights. And then with the blackest point, we'll just raise that up a little bit. Over in my Layers panel, I can hold down Shift and click on the last rectangle to have them all selected to turn them off and on together. Right now this effect is still a little strong, so I'm going to put all of these adjustments into a group by pressing Command or Control G. And then with the group selected, I'll lower its opacity to 50%. And now you can see we have a much less extreme effect going on in our photo. In fact, 50% might not be strong enough, so I can always bring this up. You can continue playing around with the opacities of each layer to customize the effect for your photo. And there you have it! That's how you apply the Nashville filter.